Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO on Broken Bonds video. Today's on Broken Bonds video, I'm going to be revisiting Blastoise GX. And this time I'm going to be playing it with Alola Ninetales GX because it might be the better way to play Blastoise because uh, you can get both and play a lot easier with Mysterious Guidance. Before we get into the video, I do have a couple things to say. Um, I want to know, what is your total time played on PDCGO? If you go in your statistics, you can kind of see how, like, your total time on the game. For me, I might hold the world record for the most time played on this game. My total time played on PDCGO is a hundred days i have a hundred days played on this game it like just in general so all the hours i've played the game all the years i've played the game has equaled to a hundred days total time played on this game that might honestly be the record for the most time played on this game i want to know what your total time played is um i am genuinely curious to see if anyone has a higher total time played than i do on pdc joe a hundred days played <laughs> Like, bruh. Anyways, uh, the other thing I want to talk about, obviously, is our sponsor, Car Cavern TCG. There is a special coupon deal going on right now on Car Cavern TCG. All the way through the end of Monday, um, if you use the coupon code CCTC when you buy something from Car Cavern TCG, again, to the end of Monday, you can get a 15% discount on your order. So if you're trying to buy Unbroken Bonds codes, if you're still trying to get any other codes for any other set or any other thing that Card Cavern has on their store and you're looking to buy something there, use that coupon code till the end of Monday tomorrow, CCTC, for a 15% discount. And then after Monday, you can use code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. So yeah, check that code out. Try it out if you buy something from Card Cavern. So now we're going to look in the list here real quick. I'm going to skim through it. Uh, Blastoise GX is a good card. It's a anti Rechizard card. The only unfortunate problem with Blastoise is it is stage 2. Originally, I tried it with Bill's Analysis to get it going. But now I'm going to try it out with a little Ninetales GX. Some people requested me to try it, and so here we go. Little Ninetales has Mysterious Guidance, allowing you to search check for two items. This can get you your rare candies to get your double Blastoise in play, which is one of the things this deck tries to do is get two Blastoise in play. Um, because you gotta get the Powerful Squall in play to use Powerful Squall to get, look at the top six cards of your deck to put all the waters onto your Blastoise GX to make it attack. And Blastoise can do pretty good numbers. Four energies allows you to one-shot Picarum. Three energies allows you to one-shot Rechizard. Blastoise's numbers are really good. And it's tanky too. Solid Shell, giving it 270 HP total. So it's a really strong attacker. Um, and you gotta combo it with the other Blastoise. And the best way to get both of them in play is through Mysterious Guidance. You also get access to Beacon, which can help you on the early game too. So this is the list. Uh, no Articunos in the deck, something to consider. Uh, also no Mars Shadows, no other Water Attackers, no Prism Star Volcanian. I'm just going all in with my Blastoises. I got a Ranguru for the extra draw support, and I have Tapu Lele GX for Wonder Tag. And that's it for my uh, Pokemon line. Going into the items now, Energy Recycler and Max Potion. Energy Recycle gets you back your energies. Obviously, really good for when you uh, want to do Powerful Squall. One Max Potion, I want to play two. With Max Potion, you know, it's like Blastoise GX might not have any energy on it going into your next turn because you put them back in the deck for your attack. You can use Max Potion to fully heal it. 270 HP. Again, very tanky card. I got my four Nest Balls, three Brooklyn Hills. I got four Rare Candies, of course, to go Blastoise. One Stretch to get our Pokemon back. I got one Switch. I do have a game against Stall in this video, and I wish I had two Switches in the deck or even three. But I think two Switches is better than one Switch if you want to try to find room for two because Blastoise has a bigger tree cost. I got one timer ball. I hate this card a lot. It always gets double tails, but it is a very good way to get Blastoise. Even if you just get one heads, it's sometimes better than having to ultra ball some cards away, which we do play four of. I got three Broken Hills for my stadium. Uh, I don't play an insane amount of supporters. As you can see, I am playing three Cynthia, three Lily. I am valuing Erica's Hospitality very much in this deck too, to be able uh, to draw more cards. I got my Guzmas, two of them. My energy, I got 13 water energies for Blastoise, and I am running one fairy energy. Now, you can't do powerful squall with fairy, but with fairy energy, if you have it on your nine tails, you can powerful squall the rest of the energy on, build it up one turn. You can not only use snowy wind, but you can also use sublimation to take out an ultra beast like a Blacephalon, and most importantly, maybe a Buzzmosa. Uh, Buzzmosa can give this deck a run for its money, but ideally, you can knock him out sublimation, take your three prizes, then try knock him out with rocket splash with like five energy. That's the goal. Um, with the strategy to beat your Bosmosa matchup. But yeah, this is my Blastoise Nine Tails list. Um, it might be the better way to play Blastoise. Let's try it out on PC Joe. Okay, here we go. Blast Tails time again. So, let's see what we can do now with the deck, now that we have Nine Tails and stuff. All right, all right. Okay, so we're up against a Lightning Psychic deck. Okay, this could be a Weezing deck. We'll have to see the Weezing. I don't know if it's that bad. As long as you can get Blastoise and play quick enough. Maybe the matchup's okay. We don't run Mew or anything in here, so this could be tricky. Okay, we lose the coin flip. 
that's fine if it is wheezing we got to be a little careful because wheezing is gonna be able to knock out our squirtles pretty easily other than that i don't know if this matchup is that bad blastoise gx is pretty good against wheezing i would say all right so we'll see how we do here assuming this is wheezing this might not be wheezing but the types match up but there's no other types in the deck so maybe this isn't wheezing i don't know it's probably a wheezing deck though uh oof <laughs> Pretty rough start, actually. We have to rely on Erica for draw support. That's not fun. We literally have no basics, so we might just lose here if we don't get anything good. We might just end up getting donked, potentially. We have to rely on Erica. Not cool. It's problem playing two Erica's instead of one, but Erica is just so good when like your opponent has a big board. It's like an amazing draw support card. Um, oh, they're playing Pika Rum. I was completely wrong. They are not playing Weezing at all. Uh, the bad thing about Pikaram is we have to knock them out ASAP. We don't have uh, Mew in the deck, so we might just like get donked here if we're not careful. My point isn't bench anything. We're not going to do much with Erica. We have to really hope we get something good off of this. We have to establish two Blastoises to knock this thing out too. And we can knock out the Pikaram. I did in my last Blastoise video. I was able to take down a Pikaram with Blastoise. It did happen. But it didn't look like it was going to happen in this game, unfortunately. That's one of the problems with playing stage 2 decks. Speed decks like Pikaram are just too good for you. So, you know, you can't really do much. You're just, sometimes you're just too slow to keep up with a deck like Pikachu and Zekrom GX. Depending if they do get a turn 1 or a turn 2 full blitz off, we'll see. It's most likely going to be the case, though. They are putting some Pokemon down there for me. I don't know if they're going to use Coco's ability this turn. We'll find out, though. That was for support of the turn, so no Lily, I guess, is pretty good. Ooh, they're actually going to Marsh out on me. This might give me a potential chance to get a better hand. Let's see, can we get Lily? We do not. We do get another Pokemon, though, but we don't get a Lily. We can get a Ranguru here, I guess. I think we kind of have to. Can we draw a Lily? Okay, well, that's not great. I think, actually, we can just go a Lolan Vulpix, then, instead of a Ranguru. Uh, yeah, I think we do want to double down on our Squirtles. I was thinking of getting into Ranguru just to draw one card, but um, it's probably for the better to just get two Squirtles, just in case he like knocks out one of them with Zapdos or something. Uh, we want to be able to have Squirtle in play. We get Lele and probably another Vulpix. Sucks we have to put Tapu Lele down, but if he knocks out Lele, he's not knocking out Blastoise with Powerful Squall. That's one thing I'm always worried about with this Pikaram matchup is he can just knock me out with Powerful Squall. All right, he did Marsh out himself, so let's see if he doesn't get a good hand here so that we can uh, not get full blitzed here. It's most likely going to be the case, so he pulls it off. If he plays two Volkner, he can just Volkner for energy switch. So the odds of us pulling off two Blastoises here is not going to be very likely. Don't even know if it's a good idea to play Lele. Oh, he's actually going for Cynthia, so maybe he won't hit the energy switch here. If he doesn't hit the Thunder Mount or the energy switch, I'm actually going to be really happy. I think we can do a lot of things if he doesn't get it. If he does get it, we're in trouble. If he doesn't get the energy switch or Thunder Mountain and doesn't get the full blitz off here, I think we'll be okay for now. We might be able to get a decent setup here if he doesn't get the prize. He doesn't. Okay. This is really good. And we drew a Lily. And up. Uh, Okay, sorry about that, guys. Had to quickly cut. I Sometimes when I'm on OBS, I accidentally move the screen so it like shows a bunch of black. I don't know if that made any sense, but people who use OBS know what I'm talking about. Um, I think we just Lele. We're going to try and get to the point where we don't let him pull off Tag Bolt. So we're going to risk playing Tapu Lele down. He hasn't taken a prize yet, which is really shocking. All right, Cynthia. Can we find a Rare Candy Blastoise? We don't. Ooh pretty bad uh this isn't terrible though we can definitely get blastoise and play next turn i think we'll slap a squirtle down and we'll beacon for blastoise gx and a lola nine tails we actually do have a pretty good hand here actually if you just knock out full blitz we'll be able to go off as long as there's no other marshadow slash judge coming down we do have a pretty good hand here 
There's no way he can tag bolt me this turn, I don't think. If he actually pulls off a tag bolt knockout somehow in Kale's bolt pixes, I don't know what to tell you, but that probably shouldn't happen. He can definitely knock me out full blitz, build himself up, and then from there we just knock him out with rocket splash, hopefully. He might have a Guzma too, though. He can knock out the energy with. That's why I mentioned the Squirtle. Because, like, okay, I can maybe get a Ranguru here with an Ultra Ball just to draw an extra card or two. But I'd rather just bench another Squirtle. If I have three Squirrels in play, there's no way I can't get two Blastoise in play. That was my logic there behind playing both Squirtles down. Yeah. Ooh, big Erica. That's not nice. He might actually just uh, full blitz. Or, yeah, full blitz to a different Pikaram on his bench. He might not do his active. I hope he does the active. Uh, if we fall short on a knockout, though, it's not good. We actually... Uh, we can't use the Fairy Energy with Blastoise. I mean, our hand is pretty busted here. It's pretty likely he's going to have, like, a, a... Not a full bench, but a pretty big bench here. So we can do a lot this turn. We can go off. But yeah, he might full Blitz to the other Pikaram. It is smart to do that. Okay, there's a full field. He's probably going to do Tapu Koko. He's got two energy. Yep, there it is. It's a good thing you didn't get this threatening board state last turn, that is for sure. Got a little lucky that it took him a little bit to get full blitz going. Uh, having Layla on the bench might be a big problem though for us winning the game. We'll see though. Kind of wish I had Mew in this deck, but I again, like there's so many different cards you can play with Blastoise. I didn't really know what to take out for Mew. Mew's good in here, don't get me wrong, but is it really needed? I don't know. Um, if he puts energy on Pigaram, he might just pull off a Egg bolt next turn and he is that's not good so i think either way he's gonna try and tag bolt me here which is not fun we'll see i was hoping that'd be a rare candy if we could put a little nine tails gx down we can get double rare candy we have one other rare candy in the deck so i'm either we prize or the blastoise oof well i would like to get double blastoise gx into play that would be pretty nice. Okay. So we got a decent setup here. Um, we can Ultra Ball for Oranguru. Really am tempted to get rid of the Energy Recycler. Keep the Ultra Ball. So when we do Erica, we might get another rare candy. Try and draw as many cards as we can here. I'm actually going to hold off on the Powerful Squall. Until we're ready. Uh, Brooklyn Hill, we can save that. Erica for five. Three energies, that's not really good. Alright, we'll Ultra Ball away Brooklyn Hill and Nest Ball. Get War Turtle. Get ready for another Blastoise GX. We're gonna go for Powerful Squall. We need to hit two energies here. Can we do it? Are you serious? We whiffed again. That's twice in. Pikara matchups right with the energy. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. We whiffed the knockout again. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is just, that's that that's just sad. That's something else. Okay, it's not the end of the world though. He still hasn't set up a tag bolt play. Blastoise might survive the turn. It's got 270 HP. Remember, it's pretty beefy here. We still have our max potion, so. It's not the end of the world. He is heavily damaged. It would have been nice to get the knockout. I can't believe we whiffed that water energy. If I didn't do Erica, we maybe would have knocked him out. But I wanted to do Erica because I still was like, okay, we need to attach for turn. Maybe I should have done Powerful Squall before we did Erica. But with Erica, I could have drawn extra stuff that I would have gotten off my Powerful Squall. Like, I probably would have been able to pull off more. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm pretty annoyed. Not going to lie. That was pretty sad. If he knocks me out here, it's going to be really bad. Again, it's pretty likely he's going to get the tag bolt off. Yep, there it is. If he gets, like... If he knocks out both Lele and Blastoise... I mean, we pretty much lose. And oh my god, he has the double knockout, bro. No. No way. No way he's actually got the double knockout here. Okay, good. I was going to say... 10 health remaining. We really need to find Max Potion. Really need to find Max Potion. If we can Max Potion here, we can probably just win the game. To be fair, though, we got another Blastoise Jackson play. We can still probably just win the game anyway, especially when we find a Guzma to KO this thing. We're just looking for Max Potion now. And it's in the deck. It's a shame we already used our other Wolf Picks. Okay. 
Okay, do I want to do Powerful Squall first? I think I will. I won't make the same mistake twice. There we go, we got the knockout. I guess I can't do Max Potion now, but whatever. I'll... We'll take three prizes. We prize to Blastoise. Either way, this can get KO'd by the other Blastoise or Ranguru. There's Guzma. Oh, we actually did it, Max Potion. Okay, I feel a little stupid now, but you know what? It's fine. We win the game here, basically. He'd have to Marsh out of me again in order to prevent him from winning. So yeah, we're going to knock him out. Take three prizes. We might get Blastoise checks with the prizes here. There it is. All right, sweet. Would have been nice to do Max Potion, but you know what? This works too. We're going to win the game. He'll knock me out. With either Zapdos or Picarom, most likely just Zapdos because he doesn't want to give up three prizes again. And as long as he doesn't Marshadow or Judge me, we just Guzma win the game on Picarom most likely. Unless Powerful Squall whiffs, which is highly unlikely. If we don't get the knockout here and win the game, then we might lose the game potentially, but I don't see us losing. And there's a Volkner. If he doesn't do another Marshadow, we do have game. He actually can't kill him with Zapdos. He has to do Electro Power to knock me out. Or Choice Band, that works too. So if he knocks me out, um, and Marshadows me in this turn, we probably won't win the game this turn, but if he doesn't, then we should win here. And he doesn't. Alright, that is game against... Okay, if I'm jumping the gun, I swear. But, should be game. Um, we'll bring in Blastoise. We'll bait him, make it look like, oh, I'm gonna knock you out with Blastoise because I don't have my other Blastoise in play. Oh, we drew another energy. Yikes. I don't know. If we whiff the uh, knockout here, guys, it's uh, pretty much game over. Which we didn't. Nice. And that's game. Beating Pika Ron Blastoise. Uh, we got really lucky that it took him a couple turns to get the full blitz off. But overall, I think the Pika Ron matchup, you can win as long as you set the Blastoises up quick enough. Blastoise pretty easily one-shots Pikachu and Zekrom GX. We had another turn where we whiffed, obviously, but we came out on top nonetheless. That's how you beat Pikaram, folks. That is how you beat Pikaram with Blastoise. Again, I think it's a fair matchup. It's just as long as you set up quick enough. I would predict, though, a Mew would be good in this deck. But I don't know, man. Having a Ranguru would be the only thing I could think of to swap out for the Mew. Um, but a Ranguru actually saved us there. So I don't know if you need either or. But I don't know. That was a good game. And nonetheless, so I'll see you guys in a minute with another match with Blastoise. All right, guys. Let's do another match here with Blast Tails. Pretty good game against Pikaram. Uh, we got lucky in that game, I would like to say, but we'll see what we're up against next. We're up against Weezing this time around. Not like the last game where I said we were playing against Weezing. Now we are officially playing against Weezing. So Weezing is not not an easy matchup. We do have like one max potion to kind of help us out. But Weezing is just a matchup that is just, it's annoying to play against, but it's just not, I don't know. I do feel like Blastoise can be Weezing. You just gotta, just gotta do it. Just gotta send it sometimes. I don't know. I think we'll be okay though. Again, it depends on how quick we set up our Blastoises. But Blastoise GX can uh, pretty easily defeat Weezings, and it's also very bulky. And the Mew start. Oh. A mirror match? No way. A mirror match. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited to see how a mirror match would play out. I don't even care if I lose because it's gonna be cool. My opponent actually does have a Mew in the deck, so his list is looking different from mine, so we gotta look out for that. We do also have to consider that my opponent probably has more, um, uh, more max potions than we do. It's gonna take a lot more energy to KO Blastoise. We're gonna need five energies, I think. So we need five energies to knock out a Blastoise GX. We'll see if we can pull it off. Okay, looks like he's playing a more of an Articuno focus build, which is fine. We can't do Guzma then on Artic on our on his Squirtles. We can knock out Lele though, which I probably will end up doing. Take it two easy prizes. Ooh, we got rid of a rare candy. That's a big card. He already did a support of the turn too. So unless this is grabbing Vulpix, I don't know. Which it is. Okay, so it's a good thing he didn't build up this thing. He could easily Skull Cycle on my Squirtle. I think we're chilling though. He didn't get double Squirtle down, which is what I like to see. He didn't get the double Squirtle. Okay, there's a Blastoise top deck. We're gonna get a Lul and Vulpix here, I think. We'll attach to Squirtle. We'll Lily for four. Yo, what are you talking about? What is his hand? Okay, we're gonna retreat then into Vulpix. 
That's something else, but okay. Let's get Squirtle and Nine Tails, I guess. Now that's that that's a lily for eight, right? I'll tell you that right now. You get four energies. That that's 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 what I uh, like to see with my lilies. That's that's what I like to see with my lilies. All right, the odds he knocks me out are kind of high. He could, if he wanted to, evolve into the powerful Squall Blastoise and try and get double energy under Kuno. Which would be pretty annoying, actually, if he did that. Then, at this point, we kind of got to go Rare Candy Blastoise. I can't believe we got four water and he's off Lily. That That's uh, something else. That, that's insane. Pricing the other Vulpix is not good, either. Especially if he does get a KO here. He only has four cards in his hand, though, so it's not looking likely he's going to get a knockout. There's an energy on the Articuno. And a pass. Nice, he didn't get it. Which is good. All right, so we evolve into Nine Tails. You can get Rare Candy. What else would I get? Rare Candy, maybe Timer Ball. Get War Turtle down. No, War Turtle's prized. Well, I can definitely get Rare Candy. There's no other way I can do Double Blastoise here. Do we have the Fairy Energy? Doesn't look like it. No. Okay, so let's get Nest Ball then. So we got the Blastoise, we do have a Guzma, but we can't kill Lele quite yet. Uh, we'll get a Ranguru down, I guess. Go for Cynthia. And we're looking for another Rare Candy Blastoise, I guess. Which we got. Nice. Uh, what do we get rid of? I guess the Water Energies can go. That's a tough one. I'd rather keep the Stretcher, though. We have our energy recycle system still. Oh, I already did the Squirtle. I didn't even realize I put Squirtle down this turn. Okay. Feel a little silly now, but whatever. We're not going to get judged or Marshadow, so who cares? I kind of feel silly for doing that. It's fine, though. We do have Guzma, so we could knock out the Ninetales here, which I'm probably going to go for. Just try and get a cheap KO on the Ninetales, maybe. If he ends up somehow retreating the Articuno, we can also maybe knock out the powerful Squall Blastoise, which wouldn't be bad. He might do an Erica or a Lily here off of his one card in his hand. Ooh, he whiffed. Ooh, he's just not in a good spot. Let's see what this gives us. Three energies. So we got to knock out Tapu Lele then. No, that's fine. We didn't get the energy to count nine tails. That's whatever it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Construct for one. I guess the only thing I'm looking for here is maybe another... Guzma? Oh, okay. I didn't expect to actually get another Guzma. Okay. Knock out the Tapu Lele. Take our free two prizes. Um, and I think at this point, we're just going to try and beef up Blastoise to get a bunch of energy on it. So when he goes Blastoise GX, we'll be ready for him. Hopefully we can find War Total there. Because we do need to get another Blastoise GX in play. But yeah, I'm really liking the Ninetales build way more than that Bills build already. Like, it's just been so easy to get these Blastoises in play quick enough. Ooh, we had a Stretcher. I was going to say, like, I bet you he's sitting on, like, another Lele or something, or a Stretcher, because he couldn't play it now. It's good that he has to waste his Stretcher, unless he's playing more than one, but him not being able to Stretcher back his own Blastoises is actually pretty good. Actually, he's not even an Erica, he's going for a Lily for five. Let's hope he whiffs here. Pretty unlikely we'll get knocked out, by the way. He yeah. I mean, if he does hit the Rare Candy Blast with GX, we could get killed, but I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, he didn't get it. He's gonna go for a uh, Cold Cyclone, try and get some damage on me. Just fair enough. Yeah, he's got War Turtle down. So. Another problem with <laughs> Yo, I can't believe it, this guy. He's just not having it. Now, what is Nest Ball then for a Squirtle? Okay. We'll do a powerful squall before we lily. Got three energies, so I was gonna say if we get enough energy to kill nine tails, we can do something here. I think we just knock out the other Kuno. Just take our prize. Uh, he concedes. Figured. Yep. Yeah, it's really who just sets up quicker. He did not hit that many powerful squalls. So yeah, that's pretty good. We're actually super close now to getting five unbroken bonds packs which is pretty awesome 
And I'm gonna get a pack from the shop here. Open it up and try and pull some beauty. Some beautiful card. I'm running out of packs, but I've been blinging myself out. I've been getting all these secret rare Pokemon. I've got all my secret Blastoises. And uh, now I'm working on getting secret rare Propagation. Polyrath reverse Hollow and a Mewtwo. Man, that was a pretty bad pack. Actually, I might do a Polyrath video very soon. It's an interesting card. There's a few interesting stage twos from this set to look at. Now, see you guys in another game. And uh, hopefully we get those five packs. Okay, here we go. Let's do another game of Blast Tales. We are very close to winning on this ladder. So I'm hoping we can just get a nice, easy matchup out of the way. Just so I can get these five Unbroken Bonds packs. Grass, Dark, and Psychic. I have no idea what this matchup is going to be. Could be Lost March. I don't know. Probably not, though. It might be. It might be. It could be a Zoark deck, though, too. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what I'm up against here. Could be a Greninja deck, too. Could be a Greninja Zoark deck. Uh, ooh, pretty good start here. No turn with Lily. That's fine, though. We do have a pretty good hand. This is most like a Greninja Zoark deck, which is probably a good matchup for us. Again, tag teams are what Blastoise likes to see. Oh, it's Zap Beast. Oh, you hate to see it. And we prize over the Vulpix. Oh, that's not going to be good at all. It's going to be really bad. Okay, this is definitely not a good matchup. I don't even know if I want to retreat Vulpix or not. Because, like, we need the Ninetales, like, really badly. Cynthia, what do we get? There's a Ranguru. Pretty unfortunate hand. This is not a good matchup. I would say... Zap Beast might just be our maker. And that really sucks because I wanted to get a nice, good game in because I want to get these packs. And I don't think I'm going to win this game, to be honest with you. We'll see. Oh, he just concedes. Oh, well, thank you for the free packs. Okay, yay. Okay, I don't know why he conceded, but I, I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Free win. Free win, we get five packs. Uh, we can open them up though after we do one last match. So we'll do that. We'll do another game and then we will slide in to a last game. And it looks like it's just a pure psychic deck. This could be a wheezing deck finally. Surprisingly, we haven't ran into wheezing yet because I've keep saying that all these types that I'm running into, like they equal wheezing, but it just hasn't been wheezing. This might be wheezing. Could also just be a Malamar vanilla deck. Um, alright, not a great start. If he doesn't kill Squirtle, we can get a turn to Blastoise, which I guess is fine enough, but outside of that, this hand kind of sucks. It's a problem with playing the 50 HP Squirtle, but 50 HP is better. Alright, he's going first. Oh, Squirtle's not going to live if we don't draw something. He might Marsh out on me, though. I would say Malamar is fine, but again, Blastoise mainly wants to see just tag teams and big GX decks and Reshizar decks. That's what Blastoise likes to see. Blastoise, not really a big fan of Malamar Giratina, especially if he's just playing a pure and as a Marshadow. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully we can get a good hand here. We have a lot of outs. Like, even Brokewood Hill will be fine because we can get Vulpix. We can retreat into it. We got Cynthia. Good to see. But yeah, you don't like seeing these mm, Giratina Malamar decks. Spell Tag's going to be an issue for us too, considering Squirtle's already really weak. A uh, Bill's analysis. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if my opponent's going to be running any GXs. He might be playing some Gengar, Mimikyu's, and Donwing. So if he has any GXs, I hope he plays them down. Because if he attacks with Giratina all game, it's going to be annoying. Because we actually have to hit three energies to knock out Giratina. So Giratina is going to be a bit of a pain to deal with. So we'll see how we do. Hopefully he's playing the Gengar and Donwings and stuff like that. I'm also hoping Squirtle lives here. We'll probably just end up attaching and trying to retreat if we can get Vulpix here. And we can go into it. Let's get a Nest Ball. Burning K. Does he have a Lily in his hand? Hopefully not. Please don't have a Lily. That'd be very devastating. Don't look like he has it. Okay. What do we draw here? Our own turn with Lily. Not bad. Let's see, this gives us a bunch of nothing. Awesome. Good to see. I think I go Vulpix just in case I get KO'd. It's not like super likely, but I'm going to play it safe. We'll beacon for Alola Ninetales and Squirtle. 
I might not need the alone, I guess, but I can start going Snowy Wind maybe and putting some pressure on these Inkeys. Either way, I think I get the Ninetales. Just get the Blastoise and play now when I can. Got three cards. The odds of him killing me are still low, but I would like to not risk it. It's good that he whiffed that turn one Lily or even any turn one supporter outside of Bill. Oh yeah, he already did Bill. Yeah, what am I saying? He couldn't do Lily. He's playing DC. Might be an Aerodactyl Malamar deck, which is even harder because Aerodactyl can hit for a lot of damage. Well, one-shot Blastoise GX, but it can do a lot of damage. Well, maybe he's not. Maybe this is... Yeah, I think this is actually pure Malamar because DC's in the deck. So maybe I'm overreacting. More, more or less tempted actually to save the Nine Tails. I think I will. We'll just try and get another Vulpix down. Let's we'll try and get another Vulpix down, which we do find. Get rid of Cynthia. I do want to keep the uh, Max Potion. All right, we will beacon for. Actually, we can just get Blastoise, Blastoise, cause, yeah. We don't even need Nine Tails. Like I said, you need to get the other Vulpix, could have went for a Ranguru. Didn't really think of that. Whatever, we're fine. He'll finally KO me here, and we can start getting some Blastoise action in. At any point, if he ever plays down a Dawn Wings or an Ultra Necrozma, which won't happen. Okay, he's playing a little muck, which is fine. Tag Team Pokemon is what Blastoise like to see, because it can do an infinite amount of damage. There's the distortion door number one. No energy. Ooh, good to see. Okay. We're in a pretty good spot, I would say. We'll do Erica before we... Oh, I shouldn't have never Guru. <laughs> no. Ooh, no energy off that. I actually like to see that. We have Guzma for next turn. See if we can hit four energies here, I think I need. One energy. Okay, no, that's not happening. But I can set up that muck to get killed, which I think I'm gonna do for next turn. Especially if we do double Blastoise here. So go Blastoise and Tapu Lele. No, we'll get we already have nine tails. Let's get Lele. Lele, Blastoise, 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 Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise, Lele, fine. He knocks me out here. I'm just looking to knock out that muck there. We can try and set that up. We can get two powerful squalls going. That muck's gonna go down. What could he do though? He could do nasty goo mix. If he hits like a Guzma, he could pull that off. We have our own Guzma, but that'd be a waste, so it could go down that way. If he does that, I can also just max potion. But I am looking to take down that muck here. And there's the DC, which is fine because he's going to have to hit something. We'll see what he actually hits. Hopefully he hits himself, so I don't have to put that much energy on Blastoise to knock out Giratina. Most likely not the case, though. He's probably just going to hit the NK or Marshadow. Yeah, he's going to hit the Marshadow. That's fine, though, I guess. Ninetales can come and knock it out at any point. So I think we are going to try and Guzma that muck up. If we knock out muck, we'll be good. That's an easy th three. Count him. Three prizes. There we go. We do have the fairy energy in the deck too. That's big. That might be a little overkill, but whatever. Bring that muck out. <laughs> My opponent's like, oh no. And then we got all my energy off that. That's hilarious. We'll attach the Vulpix. I'm going for nine tails. I would have opened a nine tails. Am I looking for anything right now? Not really. We'll rocket splash. I might have to just put back all the energy just so I can max potion next turn. And we'll knock out the muck. Taking a lot of prizes. 360 damage. Even a buff patty would not have saved him. And there's half of our prizes. I know we prize another Blastoise or something. There's Rare Candy Squirtle. Alright, that's good. If he plays another Lolan Muck down, we can just try and knock that out too, hopefully. He hasn't been drawing very well, which is pretty good to see. He's only played a, a build this turn. He's done a couple acros, but they haven't really saved him. And yeah, I think this game is probably over because this Mars Shadow can also get softened up. The only way I can see him knock me out this turn is if he gets a Gengar Mimikyu. 
So I probably should be cautious of a Gengar Mimikyu coming down. If he plays it. I don't know if he is though. I want to say that he would be. We can always check his deck after. Okay, the only thing that worries me is a Gengar Mimikyu. Because we have 5 items in our hand. But we're going to max potion here. There's a Lily for 6. There's an Acrobike. Let's see if he actually does get a Gengar Mimikyu off. I hope he plays another Muck down. Because Muck is just how I'm going to win the game. Just take out all his Mucks. That's why Blastoise is nice though. You play against these tag team decks. You just just utterly obliterate them with Rocket Splash. Like it's not even funny. Ooh, Koga's Trap. Okay, I don't know if I want to play this or Squirtle down. Ooh, there's the Muck. Alright, so we're going to do Double Pop with Squall here. And we're going to try and win the game this turn. Unless he retreats and goes Nasty Goo Mix. I hope he doesn't do that. I hope he just attacks me with Giratina. Please just do Shadow Impact. Okay, good. I was going to say, if he goes with Muck, that'll be a little annoying. So we're going to take 100 damage here. So we'll max Potion. So now we're looking to do Guzma. We'll thin the deck out as much as we can. We do have other Guzma in the deck, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. I probably should check, but whatever. Powerful Squall. See if this other Powerful Squall gets us there. It does. And we win as long as we didn't prize the other Guzma. If we did, I'm going to feel a little stupid. Let's hope not. Please don't tell me the other goose was prized. And we win. Just like that. Blastoise just, just doing its thing. And uh, wrecking my opponent. My opponent didn't really get like super set up though. Another bit of a slow match. But again, we were just able to just shut down any tag teams he puts into play. That's game. That's Power Blastoise GX. It's really good against tag team decks. Like, it's actually insane how good this card is against tag teams. I don't know, man. Blastoise is pretty underrated. And we got five packs to open up to wrap up today's PDCGO video. Blastoise Nine Tails, guys. I'm a fan of the deck. I really am. I don't know. Blastoise is fun. And if you're looking to counter any Reshizard decks because you're tired of running into Reshizard on the ladder, try out Blastoise. It's a cheap card. It's not super expensive. Getting the Alola Nine Tails might be... A little costly. But again, if you want to play an easy deck, play that. Ooh, get another Venomoth. Not great, though. I'm hoping we can maybe just get a fuller Welder or Green or fuller Dedenne. Just something I can trade off. So I have already my full playset. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this peaceful video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe on the road to 5,000 subs. We're getting even closer to 4,600 subscribers. Another Marsh Shadow is actually not bad. And uh, yeah, make sure to check out Card Cover TCG. Now till the end of Monday... Um, as you're watching this on Sunday, you can put in the code CCTC, get a 50% discount store wide. So if you're still looking for um, Unbroken Bonds codes, get them from Card Cabin because from the end of Monday, you can get a 50% discount on the order using the code CCTC. And yeah, we got another Reversal Quag. Only one GX and it was a Venomoth. Uh, packs could have been better. But yeah, thanks for watching this special video, guys. Blastoise, Alola Ninetales GX. Probably busted, probably really underrated and good. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's PDCGO video. I have 100 days played on this game. Let me know down below how many days you have played on PCGO. I'll see you guys on another video. Bye.